Hey, thanks, Tommy. Appreciate you, buddy. How are you doing, man? I feel you, brother. I feel you. Thank you, Dundee. How are you doing, man? Are you doing okay? Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Why, thank you, sir. How are you doing? I love Sweden. I love Sweden because I have an unhealthy obsession with Dolph Lundgren and how great of a human being he is. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Dave, it is. That is actually a very poorly kept secret. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, appreciate it, man. Uh, hey, let's find out. Yeah, dude. How do you want it started? I think we'll do baseball to get it out of the way and then we'll move on to some comics. <coughs> All right, this wonderful Tuesday is getting started with a personal break. Uh, this one is for Dundees. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, appreciate it, Half. We are kicking it off with 2020 Tops Archive 6 Series, Retired Edition. And uh, that is Jim Abbott. 
and that would be his auto. It's out of 31. Uh, Rico, I am a very old 40. That is fantastic. Ah, Mike, it's good, man. I cannot complain. Uh, Rob, I'm going to agree with you. I like Jim Abbott. How about Mo Vaughn out of 44? <laughs> oh, Rico, I don't feel it, man. <laughs> it's been a hard 40. B believe you me. It's been a hard 40. All right, DC Bombshells. Uh, you are going to be getting a small figure as well as a very good shot at a sketch card. That's going to be Batgirl. Wait a minute. Did did you buy DC because it's DC's birthday? Is that what just happened? <laughs> I love it. Military. A uh, Porzingis 16 to the house. Uh, it's a great question. I don't believe that it was restocked. Let me look real quick. Nope, I do not see it. That's going to be a negatory. Hey, look, a checklist. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not bad girl, it's bad woman. Some of the nicest DC sketch cards come out of here. And I don't mean sketch cards of DC. I mean sketch cards about DC. Oh, please do, man. I'd appreciate that. Hey, Romaldo. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of sketch cards, there is your one of one. AIM. See, just kind of speaking those into existence. No biggie. Uh, how is Aquaman in with the bombshells? Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it, man. It was great. Uh, that is a foil, Aquaman. It was me and my son, uh, and I watched him play Ghostbusters on uh, the PS4 all day long. Which left me to peruse the internet peacefully. AIM? I do not know. Or, as we would say in Quebec, je ne sais pas. We have.
have some pretty good breaks. Not only personal breaks on deck, uh, but some interesting group breaks. They are short ones, with the exception of the first one. Uh, but they are pretty solid, including a, an NT basketball box break, a Noir first off the line basketball box break, and three box luminous break, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Mike, I've read quite a bit of it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks off. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them. So uh, my mother actually dropped off a field guide uh, in addition to the, the, the textbook. Um, so the field guide is great. The field guide is the one I'm probably actually going to take out with me. Um, Tali Al Ghul. Because the illustrations are newer, uh, sharper. So I'll be using that for immediate identification. The other one is more or less for planning where I want to go because it has a detailed overlook of the area. So it'll be, I'll be using both of them. Yeah, they remastered uh, Ghostbusters for PS4. I sure can, Kyle. Uh, how many of the ad icons do I have? Uh, Trav, I have two for you. That was all I could muster. But you know what? They're both for you, man. Hey, thanks, Vince. I am, man. DC Saurus? <laughs> or how about just Desaurus? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I might. I, I doubt, listen, man. I, uh, uh, Kyle, I can open yours next if you want. If, if they brought it to me, I'll open it next. Um, I would probably never name something after myself. I would probably, so here's a fun fact. This is what I've been told. I don't know if this is true. I was told at a young age, so it was something I always believed. Um, traditionally, you can only have one species of animal named after you. Uh, there's only very, there, you, there's difference between you know genuses and species. Uh, when it comes to actual species, you only have one that's that's named after you. Um, for instance, Gary Larson, who created the Far Side and who has recently uh, brought back the Far Side from the dead, um, has a a flea species named after him. The species name is Gary Larsononis. Um, and in the letter to Gary Larson asking for his permission to name the species after them, they said, we know that you can only have one species named after you. And while I'm sure you would want to wait uh, for something beautiful like a swan to be named after you, uh, unfortunately, I study fleas and ticks. Uh, scuba, it is. Uh, so, from that letter to Gary Larson, I... Uh, have surmised you can only have one species named after you. Poison Ivy. So if that... What's up, DCD? So if that is the case, uh, I would probably find one of my childhood idols or an unsung hero of uh, science and, and name the first one I discovered after him. However, with that said... It's sensationally unlikely that I discover a new fossil. Hey, Ryan, thanks, man. Oh, dude, absolutely, I agree 100%. For the prices of the boxes, for how much you could turn around if you chose to part with the um, sketch card, you absolutely would be making profit. Now, that is if you can stand to part with them. <laughs> Thanks, Vince. Uh, I am. Ah, very nice. Um, I have a collection of middle to late Devonians uh, from the Lake Erie 18 Mile Creek area basin. Um... 
between brachiopods and uh, all the different trilobites, uh, I have a pretty decent collection. Hi, Blue. Oh, man, that is amazing. Uh, when I was a child, I wanted to be an archaeologist. And then when I was about 10 years old, reality kicked in. And uh, I realized I was never going to be an archaeologist. So instead, I, I went on a different path in life. Uh, now that I'm older, I wish I could not have to work and just go get my degree in archaeology. I have, I don't have a ton of trilobites. Um, unfortunately, the shell that they're found in uh, is mostly the bed of the creek. So only at low tide uh, am I able to, to search. I do not do digs. Um, it's private property in the area, so I just look for rockfall and any of the, well, sluice, for lack of a better term, uh, to fall. So I'm more or less rock hounding instead of doing digs. So I, uh, I'm not, I'm a non-disruptive rock hound. Um, unless I had permission, I would not be touching anybody's property. So, uh, nothing crazy. I mean, I have a couple of complete ones. Nothing, like, big. Uh, but the brachiopods, man, I have some fantastic both sides of the shell, filled, deflated, you name it. I got those. I got those in spades. I'm still learning about the um, origins, genus, and species. I'm still learning about uh, the difference between the Hamilton... Um, eras and I'm I'm really getting into origins uh, give me about six months to get through the field guide and I'll be able to answer a lot more specific questions um, they are but they would only break tomorrow at the earliest uh, I don't have any on hand these are all from pre pre-purchase but I love it it gets me out in nature it gets me either swimming or hanging onto the side of a uh, an overhang of a cliff. It's it's a good time. Thank you, Kenny. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a few that I've seen other people in the area um, hit that were just stunning. I have I have a bead on a location that has some really fantastic uh, coral, like horn coral. Uh, and the horn coral, if you can if you can get a decent profile one, uh, those are gorgeous to display too. And we actually do have a very thin, maybe a eight to twelve inch. Um, hard sedimentary slash sandstone um, band that goes through the area that has some... Hey, there's another one. Um, Omar Soto. Another 101. That has some really good horn coral in there. AD, it is fantastic, man. I can't complain. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. I love meteorites. Um, I was told the best place to go for meteorites is the North Pole, since there is no actual ground underneath the ice cap. Anything that appears to be a rock is a meteor. Well, meteorite. Um, yeah, man, I would dig that. I would have to find time. <laughs> Time is the number one commodity I don't have, unfortunately. All right, let's move. Uh, these were absolute stunners when we went for them the other day. 
19 Marvel Flare. Yeah, man. I concur. Take it all well. I can tell you right off the bat, that's a great beginning. Ah, me after the second beverage of the night. Uh, yeah, how about a sketch card? Shea Zuber. Man, this is your day when it comes to sketch cards. That's your third. Uh, Riel, I'm going to agree with you, even though it's sad. How about a stained glass Wolverine? Let me get something to show you. Stained Glass Wolverine. Uh, yeah, I think that is Jean Grey. That would be my professional guess. Uh, this stuff is cool. There was a lot of neat things that we found in here when we opened them last time. Totems, Black Widow. Rocket Raccoon. Oh, LOL, it's fantastic. Sweet, man. That's what I like to hear. Matter, man thing. With the antimatter, uh, I can't rightly tell. Not the greatest pick. Oh yeah, but every all of them are if you don't uh contact them and pay some absorbent amount to make sure it gets there early. Uh singularity Deadpool. Because I've seen people get a, a, a one week to, to two week turnaround time, and then they told me, yeah, I paid them two grand. And it's like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't care if the card's worth 50 grand. I am going to wait. Lucky Eights, 63 out of 88 Spectrum. That's with that gem metal effects background. Uh, I'll take the Wagner, because there is a slim chance of more of the Wagners being found. There's a good chance that there are unopened boxes that still have LeBron rookies in it. Through the ages, the Copper Age, Thor... Marvel Spotlight. That is a manufactured patch. Oh, see, I didn't know what uh, what the LeBron was out of. Ah.
LeBron out of 23? Yeah, well, that's different then. Yeah, I didn't realize it was uh, it was only out of 23. I kind of figured it'd be out of 99. Uh, no insert per se in that particular pack. All right, last box. An eight, a five, and a four. <laughs> wow. Okay. Namor. Totem. Iron Man. It's a nice little manufactured patch. Oh, looks like another stained glass on way. This one is going to be Aurora. That's a heck of a collection. Antimatter, the void. Uh, I did a little bit today, right before he woke up. I got some time in. So I'm getting stoked for the five to come out. When I when the five comes out, he gets the four. Antimatter, Taskmaster, and his muscle memory. Uh, his matter would be Deadpool. Singularity, Wolverine. Yeah, nobody in my family ever collected. Uh, my grandfather allegedly has a bunch of old cards from the 50s uh, stashed somewhere in the house. Uh, he claims they're not there anymore. My father swears uh, he saw it 10 years ago. Uh, but allegedly there's a whole bunch of old school mantles and DiMaggio's and Maris's and things, but I don't know. I'm sure if my grandfather ever passes, I'll be the first one my father calls to help him go through it. Power Blast. What is that? Glob. Oh, you're welcome, man. You are welcome.
that's no good, Dave. Uh, Kyle, I just looked up your order. Uh, they sent that out. It was not marked Bray Live. Uh, so that did get sent out. Yeah, sorry, man. I just pulled it up right now to open it, and it's uh, it was shipped out earlier today. There's a tracking number and everything. Uh, Wayne, indeed, sir. Uh, Wayne, there's three. I used to religiously listen to Joe Rogan. Uh, I'm a big fan of, well, I used to be a fan of Ari until he just became stupid. Uh, but Bert Kreischer, I'm a huge fan of. I got to hang out with Bert um, before. Awesome guy. Before he got super huge. Um, let me see. Half one, I don't see it. Um, but Joe, man, Joe has gotten out of touch with reality. I, 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 I still like him, but, uh, I don't think he has the same grip on reality that made him famous. Uh, the money has definitely changed him. And even though he says it doesn't, anybody who's followed him the last five years knows it does. Um, I don't see any legacy, and I don't have any on hand that I could even replace that with. Uh, I do. Let me let me pop the list up uh, while I do some processing. Uh, he did. He gave me three for you, Wayne. Alright, take a screenshot. Going away in three, two, one. You sure can, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, he's he had some he's, he's had some good shows. Um, but He's starting to get out there, man. Uh, quickly, Wayne, I would get them in real quick. Uh, there would only be about one or two people. But honestly, by the time I got yours, I'd probably be right ready to, to do it. One buyback, one ingrained. So very quickly. While we're waiting for those to go in, Trav has been eagerly awaiting this next break. I'm not even going to process another one because of how long Trav has been waiting for this.
and plus everybody who just put one in. It's going to be seven minutes. And this is only going to take four. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let me get the rest of this, too. All right, what do you want to see first, Trav? <clears throat> it's your call. Buybacks. Uh, Eric, you'd have to go to the website, dacardworld.com. All right, this is for Trav. He has been waiting for these to come out forever. Not these, but what's behind these. These are 1920 buybacks. What's behind them, though, is something far more serious. Ryan Pelling, 199. Mark Shafley, out of 20. Hey, thanks, Marcus. Appreciate it, man. All right, Cairo, I will put you in rotation, brother. Oh, thank you. All right, we're going to do this one. Add Icons Edition Series 1. Uh, hey, it's, it's the answer. 42 out of 50. You're welcome, brother. You are welcome, Trav. I hope, I hope that all the things you want come true here. That is a Funko limited edition from Funko Shop. General Mills Frankenberry. He looks like he's been hitting something other than the Frankenberry. Like he's been hitting the uh, Franken herb. That's why he has cereal. Makes so much sense now. So much sense. All right, this is 10 out of 50. Right? <laughs> that stuff was not my favorite. I was a Count Chocula guy. Hot Topic Exclusive. Scented. Scented. Icy Polar Bear. I wonder what he smells like. Now I want to know. Oh, it's in a case. Oh, you can smell, yeah. Oh, that's pleasant. Yeah, you can smell them right through the box. <laughs> You're welcome. Ain't that something? How can I smell it through the box? I squeezed it and I can smell it. <laughs> I don't know. My olfactory works. <laughs> Slurpee, you know what, Kenny P, I have to agree with you. <laughs> I do. I have to agree with you. But you know what? Uh, Icy still holds a place in my heart because my high school had an Icy machine. And for 45 cents, you could get an Icy to go with your lunch. And I was in like Flynn. Uh, Danny, it is, man. Um, I would imagine the same way they get the, uh, 
like when uh, strawberry shortcake came out, strawberry shortcakes used to smell like strawberries. The the dolls. Uh, Slurpee has the fine crushed ice, whereas Icy has the larger chunks of ice. Uh, but I believe it is the exact same flavoring. All right, Wayne, are you ready? No, <laughs> no is the juice. <laughs> Two minutes. All right, Trav, it's amazing how that works. Give you a minute? Sure thing, man. It's going to take me a minute to pull it up anyway. I know, right? I haven't met anybody yet that's angry to see these. All right, he's ready. Let's do it. Um, when asked the other day what my favorite product to open was, um, when somebody mentioned this, I immediately said, you know what? That's it. This is probably, arguably, my favorite item to open. Because anytime I get to see two pieces of original artwork... before probably they're ever seen again. Uh, I'm in. And this is for Wayne. Oh, stuff like this right here is what I'm talking about. Stuff like this right here. My goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Thank you. Look at the detail. Let's get in on that. Look at the detail. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, that's nice. Gorkin Demir. That is, um, this is high quality. This is high quality. High quality. Primo. Primo. Remo right there. Dr. Voodoo out of a hundo. <clears throat> Cable out of 50. Color box Ronin. And how about this? <clears throat> K 
Captain America. Because once Falcon takes the shield, he becomes Captain America. Uh, Eric, they should have launched today. Unless they're already sold out. Which, in theory, is a very good possibility. Alright, let's move on to the next one. My hope is we didn't peak too early. My hope is for that level of consistency. And my hope is sustained. Uh, would that be Captain Britain? Yep, DCD, that's exactly what I thought, too. There you go. Thanks, George. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I would have to look at the list. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I purposefully don't read what could be hit. Because, one, I know they're going to sell out no matter what. And, two... I like to be surprised when I open them. Keeps my reaction real. That way you don't have, like, a fake canned response to opening. Out of a hundo, it's Hawkeye. Out of 50, Gamora. Scorpion is Scorpius, written in the stars. And how about Captain Marvel? Yep, Zach, I got you, man. Brad Hudson. Thanks, Greek. Whatever you do, guys, don't tell me the answer. <laughs> I still want to be surprised. Oh, sweet. I know who that guy is. Isn't that uh, Kank Frassel? I think it's Kank Frassel. Don Mark Noseda. Uh, George, I'm not familiar with what that is. What is the do not draw list? Out of a hundo, that's rogue. Ms. Marvel, out of 30, and Hawkeye is Sagittarius written in the stars. And Black Panther. Wakanda forever. That's a Mark Stroud. Wow, that's weird, George. Is, is there a reason behind it? Are they... Is it a copyright thing because uh, the TV show owns the right now? Oh, Wayne, dude, listen. Thank you. Any Like I said before, anytime you order those, they're getting broke immediately. Immediately. That is the one and only time I break my own rule. That goes for anybody. If anybody orders 
Uh, if you order during the day, before I get here, any Marvel premiere, uh, you're, I'm going to be hounding you to get that open, because I want to see it. All right, Zach, you are up next, man. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that can make sense. <laughs> All right, Wayne. <laughs> uh, then uh, it's a date, brother. <laughs> Sloth face killer. All right, Zach. I believe that's what you're looking for, right? Ah, thanks, man. What are you up to? Uh, I don't know, Justin. Let me look. I do not see a Justin. Uh, but I'll look at the list and see if I have it. Uh, Zach, let me know when you're ready. We'll get this cracking, buddy. Yeah, man, the big 4-0. 40. Uh, baseball? George? Because if it's baseball, I have three of them. All right, this right here is for Zach. If you don't recognize the box, it's because not many of them have been open live. This is Hit Parade Basketball 1920 Autographed Kicks Edition Series 1. This is box 51 out of a hundo. Uh, yep, Gary, I got three. All right, man, good luck. I didn't want it off, dude. I'm working. Uh, can it's because it sold out as soon as it came out. No one has more hits than Hits Parade. That is Dwight Howard. Thanks, Andy. Dwight Howard. Only slightly bigger than mine. You know, I feel like this is actually a game-used shoe, too. 
Don't, uh, I'm not saying it is. I feel like it is. Because, uh, it's got a little bit of dirt on it, man. Uh, nope! Not happening! Not happening! <laughs> These shoes have been, uh, in the warehouse for weeks. I don't have to worry about anything. Weeks. I right, there you go. Dwight Howard. Uh, yeah, I heard that. It kills the bacteria. Which produces the order. Odor. All right, there you go, man. Uh, nope, heat shank, those are gone, buddy. I can show you what I got on hand. Uh, 40, Xeon. It's only 40. Sure can, he check. Get them before they sell out. And believe me, they're going to sell out when people see what's out there. Yeah, they say it's a big one, but that's only if you're going by the Gregorian calendar. If you go by the original calendar, uh, my birthday was like six years ago. I mean, who's to say that they don't add a 13th month? Yeah, <laughs> stupid Gregorians. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's it's a vi it's a viable statement. And I I am a nerd. <laughs> so there you go. Uh all right, take a screenshot. That list goes away in 3 Two, one. All right, excellent. Sounds good, Lennox. I'll take a look. Thank you, Nick. I will look it up as soon as I process this one. Right, Mike? It's true. It's true. The cup would do that. Or the cup would just take away a month, and anybody born in that month, no birthday for them. That's how the cup would handle it. Uh, Nick, that was not marked break live, uh, so that was sent out this morning. Oh, we'll always hashtag disrespect the cup. It's what makes it produce so well. Uh, where's that spooky box? Where is... Uh, Romaldo, I don't have a spooky box, man. It says I should. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me look again. I don't believe what they're trying to tell me. Oh. 
All right, they weren't lying. I don't have any spooky boxes. Um, we have the mystery boxes. They came back out, and they are on fire right now. Uh, because they just came out a couple days ago, so everybody's blowing through them as fast as, as they can. Um, I actually don't have any of them. If you ordered one earlier, uh, I don't, wouldn't have that either. Because there's not a single one here for breaks or anything else. Sure, Matt, absolutely. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, good luck, Gary. Uh, Matthew, yeah. Uh, yes, just give me the order number, half one. Oh, there we go. Lennox, you weren't playing around, buddy. You know what's good. Uh, no good one available. All right, thanks, half one. Uh, Reynaldo, it's processed, but it was not given to me. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. It might be. I think this might be a legacy box. Uh, yes. Yep. Reynaldo, you're good. Reynaldo, you are good, man. Uh, that is a, if you type that in Twitch, it'll show a picture, uh, where those words are. All right. I'm grabbing, uh, these three breaks plus the two from earlier. That should take us to eight. The eight o'clock break is going to take about 11 minutes. Uh, and then we'll be back at it. So if yours doesn't get squeezed in before eight, don't worry. The 8 o'clock break is short. You're welcome. Thanks, Taylor. Or excuse me, Tyler. Ah, thanks, dude. Appreciate it.
Thanks, Gary. Ah, you know what, Gary? That sounds like, uh, that sounds exactly correct. Let me take a look, Dustin. Yep, Dustin, I'll add you to the rotation. <clears throat> All right, let's get it. right here is for Matthew. It's 2020 Onyx Vintage Premium Baseball. Alright, good luck, friend. He was unfortunately stuck at work. So hopefully when he gets done with work, this will be brightening his day. Julio Rodriguez. Robert Pawson. That's good. And or <laughs> or Elvis Martinez. That's gonna be out of twenty. Uh, let me get that Pawson protected too. I friend, there you go. Low number hit and a Pawson. Yep, when they hand number it, you know it's low. Uh, they are. They're like, uh, they're no gloss. They have that old school wax feel to them, which I think is why they call them vintage. All right, Ronaldo. Are you ready? Yes, it is. He is ready. All right, this is for Ronaldo. We have seen some really nice things coming out of Legacy. I want to continue that momentum. Good luck. looking for a Tua, which is funny. I was just looking to get him a Tua. Well, with those two things working together, Tyler Johnson out of a hundo. Out of 3.99, AJ Dillon. That's going to be a futures Patch Auto Rookie. Air Bear and Asty. Derek Brown. Is Derek Brown the only rookie that so far has opted out? Am I thinking of the right person? 
out of 299, LaMichael Perrin. I know a third of the Patriots decided to quit. Um, but I want to say he's the only rookie. Jeff Okuda, out of 75. You know, here's the funny thing. I've never seen a dare to tear. I haven't pulled a single one. And if I had, uh, nobody's told me that it was a dare to tear because I, I haven't seen one. Not him. I, I, I know what, there's one rookie defensive lineman that opted out. And he's the only rookie to opt out so far. <clears throat> By the way, I'm not knocking anybody for opting out. That's your choice. Uh, that's your choice not to play if you don't feel like you, you should play uh, and you don't mind taking the, the salary hit. Uh, you know what? Don't don't play. Don't, don't endanger yourself. If you feel like you're in danger, don't do it. So by all means, when I joke about it, I don't want anybody to think that I'm knocking it. I'm not. Oh, Jason, thanks, man. It's going great. <clears throat> You know what? As they say, Johnny, any given Sunday, any given Sunday, unless you're playing against the Patriots, any given Sunday. Oh, they're minis. Okay. I didn't know that. Then chances are I haven't seen one. Because that probably would something be something that... Uh, that I would notice. Danny Jones. Interesting. Hasty out of 50. Chase. Uh, I mean, I'd like to see one torn. Not up to me, but if you had to ask, I'd say yeah. Oh, it's like the, okay. <clears throat> yeah, then I've definitely not seen them. Which is crazy, because if you think about how much of this, how many cases of this stuff I've opened, it's odd that I haven't seen one. No, no mini? Okay. I thought a mini was going to drop out. Yeah, yep, absolutely, Mike. Yep. I have put the work in, so it's odd that there hasn't been one. AJ Bouye. All right, maybe we'll get one here. Eric, then, uh, then we had two really bad cases because uh, I believe within the first uh, two days that we had this, um, I opened sealed cases. Unless there's master cases, i.e. there's inners and outers. Uh, that's going to be Alan Thielen. Adam Thielen, 199. Uh, you know what? You know who makes them? Uh, Hit Parade, because we just had one. 
Isaiah Simmons, 249. There is a banged up edge here. I can I felt it with my finger. There you go. Uh, if you're going to make a claim, 169-01. I always recommend putting in the claim. They tend to be very good about it. Isaiah Simmons is a very good player, so you want to consider it. <clears throat> Ruggs and McKinney. Nice. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. CD. McCoy. going to be Grant Delpit out of a hundo. Yeah, I would say that's pretty sweet. Johnny Elway under the lights out of 50. Eason and Bowden. Uh, he is the youngest owner in history, is Pat Mahomes. Uh-oh, out of 50, out of 50, Raekwon Davis and Xavier McKinney. Roll Tide. Julio, 299. <laughs> Still not a bad card to have, man. Still not a bad card at all. Honestly, I don't see those Bama players that drafted even all the way into the third round not making teams and doing well. Kamara, 75 out of 75. And we'll follow it up with his teammates, Michael Thomas, out of a hundo. Julius Peppers out of 150. There's a Tua. funny man i dig that uh dustin none man there is no money in the radio joe burrow and joe reed
All right, there you go, man. Oh, you're welcome, dude. What time we got? Yeah, we can still squeeze another one in. Why not? Uh, Michael, that means you. Come get it. <laughs> it's all right, man. It is okay. Yeah, you, buddy. You ordered this, didn't you? Hey, what's up, PH? Oh, you know what, dude? I'm terrible at this. Uh, I'm going to take uh, one for each of those Marvel boxes. Uh, we got two sketches from the DC boxes. And got two stained glass. I only take one credit for those. Oh, there was also a sketch in his Marvel. And then the dual auto was dope. Right? Keep forgetting, man. VC, I dig it, Steven. All right, Mike, which one do you want to see first, brother? Yeah, you did. You know, Patrick, the difference is his parents made different choices uh, than yours did. Oh, I pick. It's my birthday. Oh, that's right. The Icy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. All right, this is for Michael. 1920 UD Buybacks. <laughs> oh, before I even flip it over. <laughs> All right. Get some. Oh, no big deal, man. How about a Clayton Keller 101? Jason, it could have. Casual one of one. That's right. The unintended hit of the box. Yeah, sleeper hits. Sleeper hits. Travis Sanheim. Young Guns out of 25. Nineteen twenty engraved. Should have been Alex. <laughs> well, no wood on my birthday. Out of two ninety nine, Brent Burns. Out of two ninety nine, Gautier. Out of 99, Gignac. Bolquist, out of 65. Out of a hundo, Ty Domi. That is absolutely the blade. They removed the tape of the wooden sticked blade. So you know that's never seen a puck. 
Yeah, you spell U is wrong. <laughs> and Connor Hellbook out of 50. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Seen more shin pads and wrists than it has seen pucks. That is, that is very true. That is very true. Enjoy, Ryan, but not too much. All right, we're going to move over to the luminance break. Twenty twenty Panini Luminance Football. It's a three box Stephen Adams Card World live eight spot random division break. Late nights with DC. I am DC, and this is the first group break of the day. We're gonna go four times. Torn, sorry, buddy. I already am, but thank you. All right, house rules three or above, so that's going to be a roll again. We're going to go six. All right, let's do it the easy way. Jason, you have the AFC South. That is the Titans, the Texans, the Colts, and the Jags. Jeff, you have the NFC South. That's the Falcons, the Panthers, the Saints, and the Bucks. Uh, Roy, by the way, Roy, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, has been a while. Glad you're back. You have everything else. So that would be... Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, Cowboys, Giants... Eagles, Washington to be determined. The Ravens, Bengals, Browns, Steelers, Bears, Lions, Packers, Vikings, Rams, Seahawks, Cardinals, 49ers, Chargers, Raiders, Chiefs, and Broncos. Uh, Roy knows what he likes. Roy knows what he likes, and he doesn't mess around. Hey, there he is. What's up, Roy? Oh, man, are, are you, uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming because I'm talking to you, uh, you're better. My goodness, friend. Um, are you, are you good? Like, do you have any of that lingering effects that they've been talking about, man? Uh, you don't, I, I'm sorry, you don't have to answer that. We're in a public forum. Um, but man, I'm so happy to hear that you're okay. So happy to hear that you're okay. Uh, there have been a lot of people I haven't heard from, and uh, I'm hoping that's not the reason. So I am glad you are here. 
Wow, my goodness. Uh, Roy, for those who don't know Roy, Roy is basically an OG. Uh, Roy has been around uh, the, the breaking game, especially here at David Adams, for a, a way longer than I have. Um, and he is a man of discerning taste. When there's things that he likes, he goes and gets them. Well, hey, you know what? The first part of that sentence is good, man. No hospital is good. But I'm sorry you're, uh, you're getting the lingering fatigue, man. I hope, I hope that uh, your full energy and stamina comes back, brother. I really do. Uh, Von Miller, 299. Daryl Stewart. That's going to go to the Green Bay Packers on the 299. Lightspeed, Nick Chubb. Raiders, Bills, and Raiders. <clears throat> That's going to be the Panthers out of 250. Jacob Eason going to the Colts. That one's going to be out of 199. And listen, I don't know if they did this intentionally, but right after they put in Eason, they did slip in a Peyton Manning. I don't know if that was a subliminal thing that they did, but it happened. Vikings, Browns, and Titans. Out of 25, the savior of the Bears, Mitchell Trubisky. Their number one guy. Uh, Roquan Smith. Out of 75, also Bears. K.J. Hamler, year one. Uh, they don't have who K.J. went to. So let me hit the cheat sheets. Uh, KJ <laughs> That's funny the, the Bucks first round pick No, I, I honestly Trubisky is a lot better than people give him credit for uh, I don't know who KJ uh, KJ went to the Broncos so, uh, Hamler is a Bronco. McCaffrey. Broncos. Rams. And Broncos. All right, let's move into Hitsville. Uh, Charlie Warner goes to the 49ers. How about this guy? Phil Lindsay. He's a Bronco. Cardinals. The Bills. The Bills. And the Packers. All right, that is box one. On to box two. Uh, jersey on the card. And actually, it's not necessarily the jersey. It's who the card declares him on. Um, so it's actually who's written... Team wise, not necessarily the jersey. To be specific, out of 50 to the Texans. Marquise Brown goes to the Ravens.
Good old Danny Marino. The Jets. The Bills. And the Chargers. Yeah, I I love the muted colors. I think it's very tasteful to have the muted colors and then the pop of silver uh, in the writing. The Jets. There's Josh Allen. Out of 99, Mike Evans. Going out to Tampa. For the Giants, Austin Mack. Out of 299. Deshaun Watson. All right, Steelers, Lions, and Giants. Epinesa out of 250 goes to the AFC East in the Bills. The Steelers get Chase Claypool. That one's out of 299. Uh, Jacob Nip was undrafted. As far as I know, let's see if anybody signed him. Uh, nope, not according to that sheet. Let's take a look on the old Google. -y. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think he went. Nope, no signing. He does not have a professional team. Hey, Mel, how are you doing? What is up, James? The Saints and the Ravens. Out of 25, Russell Wilson to the Seahawks. Out of 299, Aaron Rodgers. For the Bengals, that's Joe Burrow out of 99. My birthday, but he can go on the throne. Speaking of throne, Pat Mahomes. Kelly Bryant was also undrafted at the time. Eagles. And Nathan Rourke, also undrafted at the time. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Moose. 
Oh, thank you, John. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, listen, man. I may not be the best, but I try hard. And sometimes, if you put in the effort and the practice, practice, you, uh, you do well. TJ followed by JJ. Kyler out of 99. Thaddeus Moss out of a hundo. Thanks, Roy. Thank you, man. I try to. Anybody can open a box and show you what's inside. I try to entertain you while doing it. Dallas, New England, and the Falcons. Yeah, <laughs> you got that reference. You got that reference. Oh, oh, oh. I almost had a case of the dropsies. Uh, C.D. Lamb, out of 99. That heads out to the boys. For the Broncos, Cortland Sutton. Illuminated Inc. out of 99. Good old Broncos. Lamar Jackson. Chase to the Redskins. For the Ravens, Queen and Brown. Elite, dig it. That's a vintage Brett Favre out of a hundo. Out of two ninety nine, Dwayne Haskins. Bryson Hopkins. That's an on card. Uh, Bryson is a Ram. So that's out to the NFC West. Thanks, Gary. Mahomes or Lamar? I'm taking Mahomes. I think he'll last longer, physically. Uh, Redskins, Dolphins, and Seahawks. If Lamar wants to run for 1,500 yards a year, uh, he's going to break down eventually. Out of 250, Lewis to the Rams. Devin Bush the second to the Steelers. Favre. Bears. Jets and Jags. All right. Just leave that there for a moment while I upload the video. No, I know it's like. It's like, do you want an A or an A-plus in uh, algebra? It's like, well, I like an A-plus, but I'm not going to be mad if I got an A. Ah, uh, Lamar. Because Vic was always a fumbler. As my old football coach used to say, he holds that ball like a loaf of bread. My card holder. There it is in all its glory. If I get credit for anything, I brought that to the game. Uh, Gary, speaking of you... Are you ready? You're the next contestant on Late Nights with DC. Except for you're really not contesting anything. 
hands like a snake. <laughs> I love it. So, Gary, when, when is your birthday? Uh, TJ, that I got that in some random box with a bunch of other things. Hey, Roy, thank you, man. Uh, please, come, even if it's just to watch, come hang out with us, man. You ain't got to spend a dime. Just be here. The 31st. Okay, Gary, that was my due date. Uh, but I ended up coming out on the 28th. All right, so on DC's birthday, we are going to open something for Gary. His birthday is in three days. We have 2020 Optic First Off The Line Baseball. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, best of luck to you. All right, most of these are going to be out of 99. 99. 99. Yamamoto, 99. 99. Logan Allen, however, with the green cracked ice, is going to be 7. Out of seven. Seven. Out of seven. And on top of that, we're going to follow that up with another hit. A pretty good pitcher in A.J. Puck. AJ Puck is going to be out of only 35. So, yeah, we're starting off pretty darn good. Cruz, 99. Sandoval, 79. Am I right? Huh? Am I right? Out of 99. Thorpe and Webb. 99 and 99. <laughs> Good, man. Famous Father. 99. EJ. 99. Yellick. 79. Ah, uh, that guy's name is Judge. He's out of 99. Donnie Walton. Out of 99. Logan Gilbert. From Seattle. That's going to be out of just 25. I'm, I'm already out of the penny sleeves. Thank God I work in a warehouse. All right, that was out of 25. You know, listen. You know how I know it's your birthday, Gary? You know how I know it's your birthday? How I know it's your birthday is because Jonathan Davis is going to be your third one, and it's only out of 25. So, your four major hits, the highest one was out of 35. That 
right there is a birthday break. Uh, Nick, I think those were sent out. Let me double check again. Uh, I thought I had mentioned it. Uh, let me look, though. Those are out of 99. Yamaguchi, 99. Verlander. Oh, tough break for Verlander. Out for the season. Out of 99. And out of 79. Nelson Cruz. So there you go, man. Happy early birthday. Four hits. The highest one out of 35. Uh, hey, McGarry, I have no idea, buddy. <laughs> it's probably because I'm fairly new and you didn't know I was here yet. I have a lot of people tuning in for the first time, not a lot of people tuning in for the last time. I can tell because there's 94 of you watching now. It's good to have you. Good to have you into this area. Yeah, I, I try to make it fun, man. I try to bring something different. Johnny Hodge. What I like about Johnny Hodge is I can call him Haji, and then you have the best parts of uh, Johnny Quest. You have the name Johnny and the name Haji. And that's all I think about when I see Johnny Hodge. All right, let me let me look that up real quick, Nick. Uh, yeah, Nick, those were not uh, marked break live, so they did go out. This right here is for Johnny, Mr. Johnny Hodge. Uh, these just came out about an hour and a half before I got here. It's Hit Parade Signature Edition Series 6 Autographed Pop Vinyls. We've got 4 out of 50 and 46 out of 50. Good luck. Yes! That's Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear! I mean, clearly, that says Tim Allen. Clearly. Clearly. That says Tim Allen. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. 
46 out of 50. Hey, Mel's still watching. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. That's Shannon Purser. Barb from Stranger Things. Uh, Bruce, we have them for sale, but not for open live. There you go. Uh, you know what? I might. It's possible. Birthday mojo is a thing. Dustin, you're on deck. Uh, yeah, what Mel said. Chances are that was James who took the phone, and he is typing. Now that I think about it. Lennox, are you ready, friend? <clears throat> Let's do it. This right here is Tops Sterling. Oh, how I've missed you, friend. Uh, we're not going to talk about what we did the last time we opened this. We're just going to look forward to what we're going to do now. So for Lennox 2020, Tops Sterling. Would you like first would you like to start with postseason performers uh sure can or yankee greats where would you like to begin That is where <laughs> I would have went to. 
Let's save that Yankees greats. Not the easiest things in the world to get into, which is a good thing. No accidental openings here. Out of 25, Yankee great, CC Sabatia. The next one is Yankees Greats. Let's see if opening from the bottom is easier. Yeah, opening from the bottom is easier. I have to note that. Good luck, man. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, I wonder if that's going to fit. Uh, nope. All right. This is one out of five. All rise. The honorable, honorable Aaron Judge. One out of five. Average exiting velocity in 2018 was 94.7 miles per hour, and this is numbered one out of five. doesn't move and get shaken card syndrome perfect all right man congratulations <laughs> thanks man appreciate it I love opening this stuff. I've only got to do it twice, and both times were fantastic.
I appreciate it, Lennox. <clears throat> uh, you'd have to argue he is. With his performance, if he maintains that performance. Absolutely. All right, Dustin, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, we got a couple of court kings. Blasters for Dustin. It's not often... I do blasters. It's almost never. But with how crazy basketball has been, more and more are coming through. Right after this break, I can do it. That is a Ja Morant Acetate Rookie. And I like it. Thanks, Brett. Oh, I forgot about the other box. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it, man. Terry Rozier, cross hatched. Jax Hayes. Kevin Porter Jr. And Tyler Hero. Garland. To go with your Kevin Porter.
Trey Young and Bruno Fernando. Goga Batazzi. Um, that's cool. Darren Fox. Taco. Brennan Clark. So your acetates were two Grizzlies and two Cavs. One from each of the different boxes. Per boat. The Admiral. All right, friend, there you go. Eric, no clue. Uh, go to the website, dacardworld.com. Thanks, JJ. Appreciate it. All right, let me get through the, uh, the processing the rest of these now. Got about 10 minutes before the 9 o'clock break. The 9 o'clock break is the big one of the evening. Uh, Brett, I asked for absolutely nothing for my birthday like I do every year. Um, my mother bought me a couple of archaeological books that I've been looking for, uh, that are not the easiest in the world to find, and I bought myself a new chair for work, because this one's broken. Um, did they put anything unique on my list for my birthday? I probably should have read that right the first time. I'll show you. Uh, you know what, Brett? That's a great idea. There should be. There should be staff picks. <laughs> Zeon. 
Oh, excuse me. All right, that's going away in three, two, one. Uh, that's the break at 9 o'clock, Heat. Uh, McGinnis, we have two group breaks and an innumerable personal breaks. <laughs> yes, yes, Zion. <laughs> Would you say you have a plethora of breaks? <laughs> Would you say I have a plethora of guns? Uh, si, sí, el guapo. Si. Sí. What does that mean? Good old El Guapo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I like to throw a uh, plethora and cornucopia in a lot of things. Uh, no, Gary, I actually just printed yours. I just need to see if there's anybody ahead of you. So I'm going through the list right now. Because uh, I do them in order that they're received. 90% of the time. Sometimes I will go out of order. Uh, if I can fit some in before a break. Just to make it easier for everybody else. Uh, yeah, the 9 o'clock break is only going to take five minutes, Henry. And then you're up right after. It's a, it's a, it's a one-box break. So it'll, it'll be quick. Expensive, but quick. Uh, so you'll be right after it. I was going to do it right now, Gary. Did you want me to wait? Because it's 5 to 9 right now. Ah, oh, thanks, Eric. I appreciate it, man. Oh, cool. I like those aliens cards. I have pretty good luck with them, too. 9.30? Yeah, sure. Good old graded note. Where is that? There it is. Yay! 
yeah, Gary, not a problem. Some of these notes that people leave on uh, on their orders, I, I sometimes wonder if they realize we read them. <laughs> All right, Johnny, it sounds like you need a pseudonym. Sean Prince. <laughs> oh, code name Th <laughs> Thon Maker. <laughs> you know, I'd say ball ball, but he's killing it in those scrimmages. Ball Ball is nothing to play around with right now. His rookie cards are skyrocketing. If you don't believe me, go try to buy a Ball Ball. No joke. Uh, it's not a weird reason, man. He has been absolutely killing it in scrimmages. The dude's, like, gone ham in the last two scrimmages. Talking sick alley-oops, everything. I'll start calling you uh, Yanni, Yanni Podge. They should bubble next season. Well, saw that coming, though. That one's not a surprise.
Yeah, the problem is the product is so expensive. Doing more than one box in a break of it is almost unattainable. Sadly. And actually, that's my fault, because when Sean asks me, I tell Sean, I want a good mix of value breaks, and I want you to sprinkle in high dollar breaks. Um, and in order for, to make this a reasonable buy-in price, got to do one box. 2019-2020 Panini National Treasures Basketball. It's a one-box David Adams Card World. Live 30 team random break. Late nights with DC. I am DC, which means I have to do the randoming. All right, anything greater? Three or greater? 11. <laughs> I didn't want it to be that great. All right, you beautiful people, you're up next. Seven. Allen has the Lakers in Philadelphia, Jason D, Boston, Pedro, Phoenix, David M, Milwaukee, Stephen P, Chicago, Stephen C, Sacramento, Jonathan B, Golden State, Stephen P, Utah, Stephen C, the Clippers, Adam G, Toronto, Pedro O, Cleveland, Portland goes to Stuart Y, OKC goes to Stephen C, Raymond has Nolens, Dallas goes to Stephen P, Stephen C has Charlotte and Houston, while Pedro gets Brooklyn, Benjamin H with Washington. Stephen C. with San Antonio and Orlando. Benjamin H. with Miami. Uh, Henrique, you have New York. John M., Denver, Minnesota, Allen M., Detroit, Stephen P., Stephen C. gets Memphis. Allen M., Hotlanta, and David M., the Paces. You'd think with all that time, I would have been ready, right? All right, here it is. This is what it looks like on the outside. Razor Blade is going to tell us what's on the inside. You know what I really like about it? I really like that even though it's the most expensive National Treasures ever released... It's in one of the cheapest boxes it's ever been put in. That is definitely cardboard instead of wood now. Out of 49 for Denver, Nikola Jokic. <clears throat> JJ Barea, one of one. Out 
out of 99. Jaron Jackson Jr. It's out to the Grizz. Phoenix. Ty Jeremy. Everything about this man's facial hair is awesome. Artis Gilmore. That goes to San Antonio. Thanks, Motley. Thanks, Mike. Numbered one out of 25. How about Thaddeus? Out of 15. David Robinson. Thanks, James. <laughs> uh, hey, Golden State. <clears throat> Can't get mad at your brand new Steph Curry out of 25. Thanks, John. B.J. Washington going to Charlotte. And hey, why not? Let's end it on a non-autographed card. Romeo Langford out of 99. <clears throat> That's it. <clears throat> that is it. <clears throat> Without a doubt it is. Excuse me. Uh, Roar, you are absolutely right, man. Hey, thanks, Munger. Um, I agree. I I think they're doo doo. I think they are uh, straight doo doo. <laughs> Munger, that's dope. Uh, where would you like me to start in all of this? Whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I think so. <clears throat> Give me a second. I want to grab something to drink. <clears throat> My throat is raw. All right, that's much better. Much better. All right, this one is for Henry. We are going to kick everything off uh, with the Twilight Zone Archives Trading Cards 2020 Edition. Goes without saying, I haven't opened any of these yet, so this is uh, beginner's luck in full effect. Um, I am vaguely familiar with the old Twilight Zone. Didn't watch a lot of it. I love the Tower of Terror, though. This is box 6,009 out of 6,500. Good luck. Interesting. Luther Dingle. Mr. Dingle, the strong. Got that retro look all right. Uh, Ruta Lee as Flora Gordon. Caesar and me. So I have never been a fan of scary movies or of suspense. I've always been of the ilk that life is scary enough. I don't want to pay money to be scared by somebody. So it was never really in my wheelhouse. Uh, but as I've gotten older, I've gotten an appreciation for how they were made as film. And how much went into them.
Uh, first off the line means it's the first one that they've produced, so they usually guarantee extra hits. Marsh pretty quick. William Reynolds. Uh, nope, they're not, Big Mo. They are not. Man, I had to do a double take. I thought that was a legit auto. Speaking of auto, Reed Morgan as lefty in what you need. Zeon knows either that or Zeon is just a lefty. Joyce Van Patten. This box number was 6,009. There's the howling man. So these ones are numbered out of 150, which means I'm going to grab that other one real quick. And I'm going to double check to see if there's any more. Nope. Didn't think so. Yep. Out of 150. Keeping me on my toes, man. I like it. I like it. How about we agree it's a gremlin played by a monkey? Let's go with that. Nightmare at 20,000 feet. You know, it's a shame the guy from that never really made it big. Mary Batum, sport from the Bewitching Pool. Mary Batum, the Bewitching Pool, sport zone twilight. Lefty, <laughs> lefty. <laughs> lefty sport. 
Wouldn't it be funny if all of their nicknames spelled out a sentence when we were done and this was a uh, Twilight Zone inside of a Twilight Zone break? So we got Lefty Sport. Uh, no, Mike. No, man. Go ahead and put one in. I'm going to put the list up uh, when this break is over so you guys can see what I have available. All right, two autographs in box one, and uh, three numbered out of 150, and one acetate. This is 1983 out of 6500. Ah, there you go, George. She was also into Kill a Mockingbird. Hi, Gary. Uh-oh, we found our 37-year-olds in the chat. William Shatner. Nick of time. Out of 150. Listen, if we're going to hit a Shatner auto, it's going to be today. On my birthday? Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't we hit a Shatner auto? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was in this pack right here. with my emotions well if it makes you feel better I was wrong do you prefer that I was wrong ah uh, no <laughs> that's right something's in here out of 150 I sure do. After this break, I'll be putting up the list. Nope, it's not going to open. Thanks, Chris. Ah, uh, Liberty, I'll take a look. If you have a, uh, a invoice number, I can look it up by that right after this break while I'm putting up the list. All right, we're due for that auto. Should be uh, any pack now. Run... Masic, one hand. So we have Lefty Sport, one hand. The Purple Testament. Soldier playing the harmonica. Thank you. Leave 
there's an acetate card in here. Nope. Just an odd looking one. Ivan Dixon as Bolly Jackson. Ooh, Hellbolt put it together. The Twilight Zone, Anthony Call. That's a Navy man right there, wearing his sound powered phone. The Helmsman in the 30 Fathom Grave. If you don't know what a sound-powered phone is, Google it. It's wildly interesting and super simple. Hamilton. last pack out of 150 a hundred yards over the rim all right we're gonna move on Hit Parade Autographed Hockey Puck, Series 7, 188 out of 200. Six-time All-Star, Addie Jockerman. Is pretty dope. Good goalie. Good goalie. 75 out of 200. Uh, goalie for uh, the Rangers back in the day when uh, masks were optional. From the 2019 Vancouver draft, that's Victor Soderstrom. Then we move to Hit Parade Autograph Football Mini Helmets 2020 Series 10. It's box 40 out of 100. Uh, no, Gary, I, I was unaware that I shaved your head. <laughs> uh, I am strangely unaware that I am the one that shaved your head. 
But hey, man, as long as I do a good job. That is Warren Sapp. Munger, are you talking about uh, uh, Dave DeChocio's place? Doi, Doughboy Chocho, I know Dave. Well, I knew Dave. Is he still in prison? I know Dave. I, I, uh, oh, he just got out? Yeah. I also know the guy whose throat he slit. Uh, Hit Parade Basketball, 1920, autographed kicks edition, Series 1, 58 out of a hundo. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't say that. Allegedly. That he allegedly slit. Hit Parade. No one has more hits than Hit Parade. Yeah, that's what it was. Double signed. He signed it there. And he signed it there. That's Draymond Green. Uh, nope. I went to Orchard Park. Double signed. Draymond Green. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not gonna open it and find out. That's a secret between Dre and Henry. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thank you for letting me open them. Yeah, man, I, uh... I know a lot of people around Buffalo. Uh, Munger, how long ago were you hanging out downtown Buffalo? All right, man, see you. All right, uh, my night, my nightclub was after that, uh, but I was doing security work downtown. Uh, so you would have seen me at either Quote or J.P. Bullfeathers or um, pretty much everywhere. I was uh, on sale to the highest buyer. Yes, sir. Uh, Hoth, I have no idea. <laughs> Take care, Munger. Be safe, brother.
All right, let me look up those and let me show you what I have in stock. All right, Patrick. Um, let me see. Yeah, Patrick, I can do the women of Star Wars. Uh, actually, no. Hold on. That break I don't have. No, I do have one of your breaks. I have the uh, mosaic first off the line. Uh, the other one... I have no idea why, but I don't have it. So I do have one of your two. If you are still watching. Uh, Vince, I might not have. All I got was the spoiler. Okay. Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate it, man. Yep, I got it, dude. Thank you. All right, Gary. No more waiting. Let's do this. Fine. Add this to this box. Keep it all together. Uh, Vince, I love it. I actually had a um, I had a vote, and once um, I explained what the the everything was about, they people agreed it was pretty cool. Optic Don Russ, first off the line. This is for Gary. I'm going to say this is part two of his birthday present. Part one went swimmingly. Because between the power of my birthday and his, you can't expect anything less. Chuck Morton, 79. Buos, 99. Soto, hoping... A fast recovery for him, 99. Diaz, 99. Mendick, 79. Gratterall, 99. Jimenez, 99. Jonathan Hernandez, that's seven out of seven. Because we are just not messing around. Now, can we keep everything 35 and below, like last time? Your matte face is out of 35. Solak, 99. Trout, 99. Ooh. Uh, that one's one out of 99. So I'm going to pop that in a sleeve real quick. Just in case. 99. Verlander. 99. Tanaka. 79. Marte. And Lewis Roberts. 
Lewis Robert and Marte are going to be out of 99. All right, Chef, thank you. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Out of seventy-nine. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Same number as there are luffed balloons. Ninety-nine. Miguel. Amaya. It's out of thirty. Uh, Chef, I haven't looked, but I'll look right after this. Miguel Vargas. Oh, that one is out of 10. Ninety-nine, 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 and then seventy-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine, and ninety-nine. All right, man. Another good one. Um, I can tell you I don't have any autographed comics. Uh, so chances are I haven't gotten, they haven't uh, gotten to that yet, which means it's uh, likely to be tomorrow. However, your other one, I can definitely get immediately. There you go, man. Doing it. Hi, right, Patrick. Are you ready? Uh, Any time after 7, I'm here at 7. Honestly, if you wanted it earlier, Sean's available to break as well. Thanks, Mike. All right, he's ready. It's for Patrick. We have... Mosaic. First off the line. Basketball. Thanks, Ricky. Appreciate it, brother. Josh Richardson. Julius Randle out of 99. Simmons. Pascal Siakam. Lots of guys named Cam. Siakam. Pascal Siakam. Taco. Joel Embiid. 
Kobe. Kemba Walker, Montage. Jay Poole, Goga. D Wade, and Pascal. Lou Williams. Schofield, Kobe, and Terry. Keldon Johnson, out of 10. Thanks, Scuba. Rui. Yes. Stained glass AD. I believe that's the case it. Or the one per case. If you don't want to call it a case hit. Ja Morant. Giannis. Beal. Donnie Mitchell, Stairmaster. Seku Dumboya, out of eleven. KAT Dikembe Mutombo International Man of Mystery Shaquille O'Neal Uh yes Nick they were sent out they were sent in the mail They were mailed out because they were not marked break live. Carl Malone. Rui. Nikhil. Kevin Porter. We were just talking about how expensive his rookies are getting after the strong showing in the scrimmages. Bubba. You could about three months ago get these for about 10 bucks. And then he has two good scrimmages and they're a couple hundred. RJ Barrett. I know, I looked and I don't even like basketball. Keldon Johnson, Brandon Clark and Iggy Brozdakis.
Nasir, Rudy, RJ, AD, Stairmaster, Uh, I believe I do. House. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Lebron James. Kai. Giannis Nasir. Hey, thanks, Bacon. Uh, hey, Chef, are you still hanging around? <laughs> Thanks, Bourbon's girlfriend. Uh, Chef, I'm going to knock yours out right now, bud. This one is for Chef. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Movie Edition. Uh, 49 out of 50. Good luck. That's going to be Hermione Granger's wand pen. Uh, this would be a wonderful item to poke the servers and the runners with when they don't move the plates fast enough because you're turning and burning and they're busy tweeting. would be the Avengers. There you go. A 
Justice League metal bottle opener. Uh, you know what? It's true. Jacob, that's true. Fan vote winner, Doctor Strange. I like it in gold. It's very nice in gold. Jeez, Motley, could you have at least opened up with something a little less than, hey, a woman just got et by a shark? I mean, that's horrible. You know, you know what? Leave the chat, come back, try that again. Because I think you need to work on your approach. Walter Peck and his fantastic smile. And last but not least, Robocop versus Terminator. I was kidding, Motley. You didn't have to leave. What's up, New York? Hey, booyah. Ah, that's right, the, the, the Durham jersey's still out there. Uh, but yeah, Motley, actually, I, uh, I read that article. That is uh, some chilling stuff. Now, they said it was a great white, right? Oh, man. Yeah, great whites, man. They're everywhere. They go where they please. There is no... I mean, they found great, light, great whites inland. Uh, there was an adolescent great, uh, great white that there was an attack in New York State, inland, because it got lost in a crick. Well, what basically was no more than a crick. Hey, thanks, chef. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, booyah. Man, that sucks. Here you grow, you, you live in New York City, you go to Maine for vacation, and you die there instead of New York City. I mean, you think your chances were higher in New York. And you know what, Rosario, you're correct. You're correct. Thanks, Gujo. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. That's terrible. Uh, actually, uh, fun fact, uh, sharks do not like the taste of us because of our high iron content. So most shark attacks, they'll bite and then spit us out. It is not often that they bite more than once. Um, I mean, I mean, when they strike, they automatically do this, but as soon as they taste it, they, they spit. Uh, the iron in our blood is 
gross to them. Um, so it's while it has happened, it's not often that they will latch on a second or third time. Stupid, stupid knowledge. Just, just happen to know that. Yeah, yeah, the mouth is huge. Makes sense, George. I like that. Uh, it could be. It, it, and you know what? Um, there is a high percentage of women who have iron deficiencies and are anemic. <laughs> Thanks, Kujo. Appreciate it. All right, who, uh, oh, oh, the three of you. <laughs> What's up, guys? I was expecting to say, I, I didn't look at the list. So, all right, the three of you have a break. You go man checks and balances checks and balances <clears throat> all right let's get this in Twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, Panini Noir first off the line basketball it's a one box David Adams card world live six spot division break late nights with DC I am DC and we are gonna do it Three or better. It's five. It's eight. All right, Barry gets the Pacific and the Southwest. Warriors, Spurs, Clippers, Grizzlies, Kings, Rockets, Mavericks, Suns, Lakers, Pelicans. Uh, Stephen C., you have Central and Atlantic. That's Raptors, Cavaliers, Pistons, Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, Bucks, Nets, 76ers, and Bulls. Julian, Northwest and Southeast. Jazz Trailblazers, Thunder, T-Wolves, Nuggets, Hawks, Wizards, Hornets, Magic, and Heat. No, I did not hear about that. This is Noir first off the line basketball. Thank you. 
All right, good luck. Out of 25, going to the Lakers. AD. For the Magic, out of 99, Nikola Vucevic. Out of 99, rookie for Memphis, Brandon Clark. Out of 99, for the Washington Wizards, John Wall. Out of 65, for the Pistons, how about D. Rose? I like this one. Out of 25. Chuck Barkley. Now that looks like a man who has a wonderful golf swing in retirement. I'm willing to wager when he retired, he has probably the greatest golf swing and one of the smoothest strokes you've ever seen. But there you go, 76ers. Out of 99, Nick Claxton. Out of 40, Grant Hill. Goes out to Phoenix. Not bad right there. Not bad at all. Uh, I know him. I get to call him Chuck. Out of 99, Carson Edwards. Ah, uh, this is kind of nice. Out of 49, D. Wade. Oh, you know what? I forgot to give one up for that David Robinson earlier today, too. That was dope. Out of 11, DeAndre Ayton for Phoenix. Julian, are you hanging out? Uh, nothing, man. I'll be here to 1 a.m., so my birthday is over when this is over. There you are. What's up, Julian? Excellent. Here it is. Hey, 
It's all good. East side is the B side. <laughs> uh, for the record, if anybody gets curious, I have another one of these that they did stock me. So there is another one of these available. Let me hit up the, uh, let me hit up the ritual. Nice. Yeah, you've only got me for a year. That's it. Yep, Kenny. Hashtag disrespect the cup. All right, this right here is for Julian. Uh, this nugget is fifteen sixteen upper deck the cup. See if I can get this early. Can I get it early? Nope. Can't. All right, two forty-nine. Anthony Duclair. Ah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Out of two forty-nine. How about Matt Murray? Rookie patch auto. That's, uh, as far as goalies go, that's solid. That is solid. Yeah. Yep, don't sleep on that one. That's a stud. Uh, honorable numbers. That's Nick Ritchie. I love this guy's autograph. It's so classy. So classy. Guy Carbonu. I have not seen a lot of Guy Carbonu stuff. This has got to be probably the first that I've got my hands on. Johnny Goudreau, out of 75.
And last, but not least, out of 249, Kyle Bond. Bon, 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 bon. Hi, friend. There you go. In the rain. You're very welcome, sir. Yeah, the big uh, the big gift for myself. Uh, it sounds ridiculous, uh, but I decided to buy a nicer chair with rollerblade wheels, so that I can truck around here and work a little more efficiently. Efficiently. All right, Mister Garcia, you've been waiting long enough. I mean, there's a lot of people who've been waiting, but you've been waiting a hot minute. No, 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 we don't have to. I'm choosing to. All right, man, give me a couple of seconds. I'm just now pulling it up. Um, yeah, I didn't get like a super nice one. I, it's honestly, it's, it's a fairly cheap one. Um, but the reason I wanted it is because it's got a mesh back and all the chairs here are full back. Um, and I have the fan on and it would be nice if the fan would blow through my chair. Uh, and then the rollerblade wheels are because this, this one, these plastic ones are awful and I can move quicker and zip back and forth and it isn't as loud. It's true. Uh, plus, the chair I'm in is, is broken. And uh, it just gave me an excuse to, to buy one on my own. <laughs> I can't break the van. It's true. <laughs> and not tell you until you turn it on. And be like, what did you do? All right, that is one retired. Luminance. Abby Normal. Uh, Eric, you're going to be up right after him as well, so get ready. Uh, no, not really, Booyah. Uh, Derek, I think whatever you chose, I don't think that was on my list if I'm looking at the right break. I think I looked at it earlier. Unless you put another one in. Oh, Ken, great question, man. If you hit any of those bounties, 
Uh, I'm going to spin the wheel and you get whatever it lands on. Uh, Gary, the third box is going to be in a little while. I've got quite a few people that have breaks that are long overdue. So it'll be, I would say, about at least 40 minutes. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> You're right. I might have been looking at somebody else's, Derek. Give me a second. Let me relook. I might have been thinking of somebody else that's on. Um... Let me look. Let me look to see who I was thinking. I might. You know what? I was thinking about Nick, because Nick asked around the same time you did. Uh, yeah, I have the, the comic, I just don't have the pop. Uh, yeah, it's on all breaks, Ken. I make mine open for everybody. Everybody that's in. Today's are kind of obscure uh, because they have a theme. You're very welcome. <laughs> sure can. Just in the process of updating it. All right, I know that one's the end of that list. You're welcome, man. <clears throat> Hey, Chris, how you doing? Thank you, man. All right, I think I'm caught up. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Uh, the women of Star Wars, I have four of them. Thanks, Rosario. All right, take a screenshot. Going away in five, four, three, two, one. Mike, how do you want these done? All righty. <clears throat> These are for Mike. Kicking it off with some 2020 NFL luminance. Pulled a nice Joe Burrow out of here earlier today for the group break. Uh, I mean, let's do that and a 2 and now. Good luck. Out of 2.99. Tyler Boyd. Jacob Nip. Undrafted free agent out of 299. Tomas Bradington of the Bucks. Chargers, Bills, and Steeler rookies round out the pack. Wow, it took that long to get to you? I'm sorry. Out of 50, KJ Hamler. I like it. Jalen Rhaegar. 299. Michael Thomas. Okuda. Xavier. And Nippy. Tua? Okay. Oh, that's right. I heard about that. Out of 50, Baker Mayfield. Hopefully it didn't uh, didn't affect you too much. Out of 99. Uh, listen, that's Jalen Hurts. That's on card. That's not bad. That's the future of uh, Green Bay right there. Uh, I live just outside of Houston. Never made it to Corpus. Two fifty DJ Dallas. One Thorn Bowl. Air Bear, Ray Gare, Rorky, Gordon. Hertz was the Eagles. Who am I? Th oh, I'm thinking of Jordan Love. That's who I'm thinking of. Thanks, man. Jordan Love is who I was thinking of. This guy is going to take Carson Wentz's job. And all the Eagles players hated that one. That's that's right. Now I remember. Now I remember. Uh, Hertz is going to cause unrest in Philly and cause a high dollar trade of Wentz. Love is going to eventually take over for uh, A.A. Ron. That's what that was. All right, sounds good. Jimmy Fox, 199. A 
Rod. Roland Bolanos out of 99. Usually this is the last hit. It's odd that this one is the middle. Uh, you sure can. I'm going to warn you, I know nothing about them. Double A. Out of 99. Yeah, that's weird. You got two signed baseballs instead of the tools of the trade. Different. Maybe this one will be two, two tools of the trade. Or just a one-on-one. Out of 199, Strasburg. Jordan Yamamoto, out of 49. Wow, out of 25. How about that six-piecer? And uh, that was it, man. See, I told you, two tools of the trade in here. But I still think you're getting another baseball. And you are. Out of 125. Javi Grulon. Uh, yeah. His dad is the Hall of Famer. Very famous. To me, a very famous Astro. You may choose to look at him from another team. Archive 6 Series. Baseball retired. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. Andrew Jones. Out of 35. I saw the Braves and I thought I got my Hank on my birthday. Oh, that's right. Love has just the J and a heart. That's his entire auto. All right, there you go. All right, Eric, you're up next, man. Let me just upload this video. Danny, how are you? Yep, Danny, I will uh, I will add you to the list. There's only three ahead of you. I'm doing well, man. Um, I mean, RPA out of seven for the guy who might be the future quarterback of the Green Bay Packers 
I go yes if it looks good. You're welcome. All right, Eric, what's your preference, man? This is for Eric. Uh, we're going to start it off with some Upper Deck Aliens. Two hits in every box. The last time I opened these, we had some pretty awesome hits. Good luck. Locked and loaded. Uh, this is going to be out of 99. Not numbered. Thanks, Jamie. Appreciate it, man. Look into my eye. Uh, alien skin card. It's not numbered. But it's cool. Fezzes are cool. Bishop. More alien skin. I concur. Uh, that's going to be out of 99. Forget him. He's gone. Ah, dude, that's what I'm aiming for. I tell him, get me the weird stuff. Uh, this card has freaking holes in it. It's out of 25. Come on. Because it's not structurally as stable. I'm throwing it in a uh, top loader just so that nothing happens to it. Well, that's Christopher Henn as Jimmy Jordan. Actor, reactor. Yep, I remember. I remember her flicking the uh, the glass in the later ones and sucking the baby through it. Spoiler alert. 15-year-old like spoiler alert. No, probably 20-year-old spoiler alert. Jesus, I have no idea how long ago it was. It was a long time ago. Sure do, Ken. Pretty much everything. Look into my eye. I am the captain now.
more bishop. Take care, have one. Yes, sir. Oh, something nice in here. I can tell you that. Look it, again, Timmy Jordan, but this time it's his key code. You got his auto, and now you got his badge. Wow, same second and everything. Motipas. Twenty nineteen, twenty twenty UD buybacks hockey. Stammer out of one ninety nine. Future watch cozy. From fourteen fifteen SPA. All right. Kid Parade graded note series two. Ah, that's today. The twenty eighth. Out of fifty. Let's see if the note is lucky. I mean, the date is lucky for the note. Oh, 1953 $5 silver certificate. It's a fine 12. Pretty dope. Pretty 
do. Uh, for those now, see, that would be a great question for my brother. He collects money. Um, yeah, it's, so rarity, I do know for bills, condition is just like cards. You want the best condition. But in a lot of cases, rarity can supersede condition. So if you have something that there's not a lot of, like silver certificates were, were taken off the market, they told them. Cash them in, get your silver. We're removing them. Um, so there aren't, weren't a ton of those around. So the rarity can supersede the condition. Now, don't get me wrong, the better the condition, obviously, the more it is, but it still holds value for its rarity. I sure can, Pete. Ah, uh, Richard, it's not bad, man. Not bad at all. Doing something I love. All right, Derek, your comic is next. And then Gary, and then Daniel, and then my lunch. I take a screenshot, it goes away in five, four, three, two, one. You're welcome, man. Um, you said you just wanted me to ship you the pop, right? This right here is for Derek, Hit Parade Graded Comic, 9.8 edition, Series 1. It's 80 out of a hundo. Power of Shazam, number two. When strikes the arson fiend. That would be from 1995. Not bad. 9.8 from 95. You are welcome.
All right, I'll take one off the list for you then. Hi, right, Gary, are you ready? The sound of silence. Well, he is here. Ah, I dig it, man. You're done. All right, this is part three of Gary's birthday break. We are doing 2020 Optic. Bees bowl. First off the line. It's been good to him so far. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alright, all of these are going to be out of 99 unless they say they're out of something else. 79. 7 1 out of 7 for Dustin May but then again he may not thanks Bart Nick Solak out of 35 79 out of 79 Mr. Trout Out of seventy nine signature series Pandora Purple Hans Cruz or Kraus, probably Kraus. I don't know who he is. And uh, this probably ranks up there for one of the worst ever placements of a sticker on a, on a uh, redemption that I have ever seen. You're not even trying now. Joe Ryan out of 25 yeah <laughs> right Ja Noose and noose. One is out of 99, one is out of 79. And there you go. Yeah, man. Uh, Hans Gruber. I mean, sure. Oh, I'm so just so sad he died. I'm not sad Hans Gruber died. I'm sad 
that the actor that played him died. Mr. Rickman. Ramaldo, I could do that. It'll be right after my lunch. I, Daniel. <laughs> You're right. This is for Daniel, 2019 Panini Prism Draft Pick Baseball. You're going to find five autos in here, including number one overall pick, Adley Rutschman. Went to the or Orioles for a record signing bonus. Speaking of signing bonuses, anybody see what uh, Joe Burrow got? My goodness. I should just start forcing my child into a sport now. Out of 30, Jared Triolo. Here's Adley. Toglia. All American Adley Rutch, excuse me, Adley Rutschman out of ninety nine. He's no slouch. That's Zach. Thompson. CJ Abrams. It's like 35 million guaranteed. Or no, the whole thing's guaranteed, but it's like a $35 million signing bonus. Or a $25 million signing bonus. It was just it was stupid. Uh, that's Robert Pawson's autograph. There's nothing wrong with that. That's Cameron Meisner, and it is out of 49. Bayron Laura, Carolina Blue.
three signs. Where did he end up? Cincinnati? Yeah, it's a rookie deal, but he got most of it up front. That's that's the crazy part. I know it's capped, uh, but he ended up getting almost half of it as a bonus. It does say basketball. You're right. Says basketball. Austin Martin. Because his parents just couldn't pull the trigger on Aston. C.J. Abrams out of 99. And out of 75, Jackson Rutledge. Josh Jung out of twenty five. And also out of twenty five, Will Wilson. WWW. Out of 99, Tyler Callahan. All right, last pack. Uh, out of 30. Bobby Witt Jr. And out of 10, Logan Driscoll. Oh, thank you, man. You're very welcome.
Uh, Journey. Um, nope. What is the what is the number? I can tell you right now, we don't have five boxes of 9.8s. Uh, the earliest I could break five boxes is tomorrow. Yeah, I don't have five. Uh, the earliest I'd be able to do five of those would be tomorrow. Because they definitely didn't give them to me. All right, give me a second. I'm going to find it so that I can print it and personally have it delivered. All right, I got your number. I got it, man. I I plan on it. <laughs> I plan on it, man. Um, yeah, I will make sure that that gets taken care of tomorrow. We'll be good to go. All right, on that note, I, I don't have it, Cujo. Can't break what I don't have. All right, I shall return at 11.45 p.m. Eastern, and we will pound out breaks for an hour and 15 minutes after that. All right, mic off. I'm walking away. See ya in 30.
Hey, Romaldo, was it the movie box that you wanted, not the TV, right? All right, just making sure. Oh, you're welcome, man. It is always my pleasure. <laughs> Sounds good, Ryan. I got it, Justin. I already got you in line, buddy.
Uh, Pete, what is the uh, invoice number? Because I don't have anything else that's marked break live. Uh, Sean, they have. As a matter of fact, next break after this one is all four boxes. Thank you. All right, man, I got it. I'll add you to the list. Yeah, the reason I didn't uh, see it is because it hadn't even gotten to me yet. That's... how behind I was. But I got it now. That's all that matters. There is a very good. <laughs> That's all good. Um, it is from what I have here, I'm looking at six breaks. So this is a very good chance that these six breaks are going to take up the entire hour. So anything that comes in uh, after right now, I cannot guarantee will get in before one. So. Uh, if anybody jumps into the chat while I'm breaking, if one of you guys could kindly uh, let them know that it's not likely that it'll break, uh, it'll allow me to burn through these as fast as possible. That way, if I get through them, I could possibly get another one in. One team, one dream. All right, here we go. This is for Romaldo. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Movie Edition Series 2. It's 31 out of 50. Good luck. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> As one ends, another begins. So shall it be. It's a baby Niffler. Armored. Wow. <laughs> uh, what happened there? 
I don't even know how that's possible. Upside Australian armored Batman. The Adams Family, original 1991. Tops movie cards. Bumblebee. It's Al from Caddyshack. Claire Deering from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And last, but certainly not least, it's your magnetic salt and pepper shakers. There you go. Well, the inner packaging, it looks like the, not the outer packaging, but the inner packaging. The force of the car being upside down and being sealed just absolutely smashed that. Very interesting. new chair is going to be so much better. I should have it for Monday. All right, this is for Jim. Little birthday break. Women of Star Wars. By Tops. We got four of them. Ah, Sean, the mystery ones. Ah, uh, yes, those I do have. Um, Yeah, the Force Edition, there are... three of them if you put it in I will do my best to get it in by one it all depends on how fast we get through these that is Charlotte Louise as Margot out of 99 99. Emphis Nest. 
corners Han and Beckett on Savarin. Because that's how long a title of a card should be. So I finally finished the last season of Clone Wars. And oh my goodness, if you don't watch the Clone Wars, it is... Uh, it's better than two-thirds of the movies that they made. Clone Wars is phenomenal. And the ending is just amazing. L337. Out of 99. So, uh, listen, they're short, bite-sized cartoons. They're really well made. There's tons of battling and uh, treachery. And uh, I highly recommend watching that before you watch Rebels. Uh, Ryan, you need to laugh. Let me tell you a joke. Oh, let me think of a good one. Ryan needs to laugh. DC needs a joke. I have to think of one that doesn't involve swearing. Inception Baseball. Uh, what's the order number? I'll take a look. Not much I can do on my end, but I'll at least try to figure out what's going on. Baltar Swan. Out of 99. Julie Dolan, who plays Princess Leia. Or at least her voice. Excellent. New one for the collection. Uh, that was uh, shipped directly to your house. That is why you didn't get an email. It was shipped out uh, the 23rd. You're welcome, man. Sorry. Sorry it's not the answer you wanted. Uh, but at least it'll get you closer to a resolution. Out of 99, Padme and Dorme. Ryan, I can't think of any good jokes that don't involve uh, non PG 13. 
Misty Lee as Princess Leia. Wow, you know, this one should be the other Princess Leia then. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. By Ashley Villers. Ja, there you go. The cup. That's the joke. <laughs> I don't know. What's the difference? Out of 25, Shumei. It's a low-numbered autograph. That's a good sign. It's Shakti. Out of 25, Orly Shoshin. You are welcome. Happy birthday. I like it. Absolutely. up again. Got him. No, I like it. Uh, Ricky. Ricky, are you still lurking by chance? Uh, dude, Ryan, this is my 40 hours a week, brother. Actually, I, I don't put in a full 40. Uh, I put in about 35. All right, there he is, man. Let's get ready. Ricky, this came out literally an hour before I got in today. It's the exclusive Chase Edition, Series 2 of the 2020 Pop Finals by Hit Parade. You've got two out of 50. And you have the answer, which is 42. 
out of 50. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, man, I uh, I have a pretty great job, not gonna lie. Exclusive chase. What are we looking at here? Uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. Red Snaggletooth. And uh, good old 42 for the Douglas Adams people. You get it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Can't you see? Captain Crunch is what I have for thee. He is also pretty toasty looking. I, you know, it's funny these ad icons. They, uh, they all look pretty, uh, baked. Is that the term? Is that what they do with cereal? They bake cereal. How do they make cereal? I baked, right? Captain Crunch is baked, right? That's how they make it. They they bake it. <laughs> hey, all right. That dude is uh yo, he's he, listen, listen, okay, all right, here we go. Let's let's let's, let's, let's real talk here. It's not even crunch berries. He's eating straight plain Captain Crunch. Dude's blazed. Dude is straight blazed. If you don't even have crunch berries, forget about it. Forget about it. There you go, bud. I mean, right, man? Come on. Come on. Even a... Ah, man. Not even crunch berries, dude. You, you... Not even peanut butter. You're eating plain Captain Crunch. You're, there's something wrong with you. Chemically, something wrong with you. But it's an awesome, it's an awesome pop. <laughs> dry, it's dry. Uh, Brandon, uh, it says it's processing cause nobody's here to process it. Uh, we manually process all of our orders. So when everybody leaves at five, uh, nothing but personal breaks really gets processed af afterwards unless you have a, um, account manager. Then occasionally they'll get processed at night, but all of them wouldn't go out until tomorrow regardless. Hopefully that answers your question. All right, thanks, Sean. You're welcome. All right, man, I dig them. Jacob, Jacob, are you still lurking? <laughs> All right, damn, man. There you are. Yeah, I mean, come on, why not? Listen, like, 
in the next five years, probably 35 of the states are going to be fine with it. I mean, look at Canada. They're doing fine. All right, this is for Jacob. Hit Parade Greeted Comic 2020. 9.8 edition, Series 1. Uh, now that is my lucky number. 74 out of 100. That's my old jersey numbers. Let's see if it's lucky for you as it is for me. It's Generations, Phoenix, and Jean Grey, number one. From 2017, Galactus, Terex, and The Watcher, Appearance. It's the Dobson Variant co Cover. There you go. You're welcome, man. All right, Nick, are you ready? for you let's do it hi this is for Nick we need any contenders draft picks First off the line. Let's do it. Who are you looking for? Let me ask you that. I don't know who to get if you don't tell me who you're looking for. Otherwise, it's going to be all Jake Fromm's. recommend against that he's looking for air bear well that shouldn't be too difficult oh i jinxed that one didn't i oh darn oh darn oh darn out of 25 bull ticket jake from oh, i'm so sorry oh Ooh. <laughs> uh, yikes. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> listen, I'm going to recommend that everybody tell me really early in the break what you want before I open the pack. <laughs> or 
or else something like that could happen again. <laughs> so why don't you preface your breaks with who you're looking for <laughs> before I open a pack, or else that is exactly what's going to happen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. After midnight. Can't even claim that was a birthday wish. That was just straight magic. Uh, that's Lynn Bowden Jr. <laughs> goodness gracious. Nate Stanley. There's an air bear. Ah, there you go. All right, man, I'll take it. It's not midnight there, so it still counts as my birthday. We are jet-setting to extend my birthday across the U.S. Tyree Cleveland. Chase Joe. Jake Fromm. Oh, jeez. Why couldn't I say something like Tua, right? Captain Morgan. Because he was team captain and his last name is Morgan. Thought that up all by myself. Only took me three hours. All right, the last one should be this last pack here should be your first off the line. Uh, optic exclusive. So let's let have that be your air bear. It's Tyler Johnson. It's basically either Tyler Johnson or the uh, wide receiver Claypool from Pittsburgh. Those are the ones that seem to pop up every time. Like those kids didn't have anything else better to do than to sign those cards. Because those kids didn't have anything better to do than to sign those cards. If your last name is Morgan, I think you have to like rum. Yeah, he, he must have been like, uh, Big Ben's going to go down in week two with another back injury and nobody's going to throw to me. So I better sign cards and make money now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Sorry it wasn't who you wanted, but uh, it's a, still a memorable video for another reason. All right, Justin. Justin, how are you feeling?
Speaking of Goodwin, uh, Marquise Goodwin just opted out after the birth of his daughter. So he's going to take the season off. Card Whisperer. <laughs> I love it. All right, Justin C., are you ready? I'm going to take that as a negatory. All right, let me process, uh, process Sean's. Uh, they're under hit parade. All right, Sean, working on yours right now. All right, Sean, are you ready? Take care, man. Be safe. I will, man. Thank you. You too. Uh, I do. Go for it, Brad. Uh, Sean. Uh, it depends on what uh, you're asking. Uh, the coolest, like, toy or the coolest card today, this year. More specific, and I'll give you a great answer. Everything and ever. Um, the one of one Carrie Fisher auto was pretty intense. Um, the Samuel L. Jackson 101 Mace Windu auto was pretty cool. What else was cool?
Pull a lot of cool things. Wayne Gretzky Autos 101. Um, tons of things, man. I, I pulled so much in the last 10 months, or nine months. All right, Sean. Sean, this is your second call. I've pulled Daisy Ridley out of five. I've pulled Daisy Ridley autograph printing plate out of one. Um, a Wicket auto printing plate 101. A Boyega 101 printing plate. I haven't pulled a Harrison Ford a card. I've pulled other stuff autographed by him, but not a card. And I haven't pulled Mark Hamill yet. I've pulled Mayhew... Pretty much everyone else, including R2. But, um, yep, Hamill escapes me. All right, I think Sean may have fallen asleep. So, Justin C. and Sean, either of you, if you're here, now's a good time to tell me. Go take that as a uh, night night. Oh God, that would have killed me. I would have. I would have died. I would have died. I have. I actually just finished about 10 minutes ago. I just finished my uh, Gatorade. Thanks, man.
All right, no Sean. No Justin. I'm a little sadder than I was before. On to the next one. <laughs> Full responsibility. All right, Brad. De facto, you're up. Oh, thanks, Marcus. Appreciate it, man. Uh, it should be tomorrow, Riot. Should be. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have definitive answers. I am... I haven't been here before 4 o'clock in the afternoon in months. So I am unfortunately one of the odd men out when it comes to operations. What you see is basically all I do. Where do you want to start, man? Where do you want to start? This is for Brad. We have 2019-2020 Trilogy Hockey by Upper Deck. All right, man. Tell me what you're looking for, or it's going to be all Philip Zadina's. That's Martin Jones. I like the gold. I like the gold. Victor Arvidsson from the Nash. Rudolph Balsair, 399, rookie. Ryan Pelling on a 999, that's a level one rookie. Nick Suzuki, four ninety nine. Connor McDavid.
Teddy Bluger out of 499. That's a level two. All right, last pack. Joel Farabee out of 499. And then 2020 Tops Clearly Authentic Bees Bowl. Getting jiggy with it. Will Smith. There you go, man. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. How are you, Hawkey? Low and left, brother. Low and left. All right. Last call for Sean and last call for Justin. I think I got eight. Hey, Sean. How are you, friend? Uh, hockey, not to my knowledge. Uh, hockey, what is your invoice number? Sean, how is things over by you, man? Is it getting better? Good. 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 That's what we're aiming for. Well, that's not good, but at least the one's by you, man. Uh, it's a, it's a train wreck here in, in America, dude. Train wreck. Absolute train wreck. And I'll argue with anybody that tells me differently. Not being handled very well right now. And it's not our leadership. It's us. It is, uh, it's us, man. Because if, if, if a leader tells you to do something you know is wrong, it's on you to make it right. And man, we're not making it right. So, no bueno, man. But, unfortunately, we'll all learn eventually. I've been blessed, man. Where I'm living is a notorious low number um, in, in the U.S.,
Yep, Leon, I got you right here, man. Uh, it was good, dude. Uh, yeah, my birthday was uh, yesterday, technically, because now it's Wednesday and my birthday was Tuesday. Uh, Jesse, those would be tomorrow. I don't have any of those on hand. Oh, goodness, that's crazy, dude. Ah, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Um, so, let me knock these out. Not literally. <laughs> and if you want to take a list, I'll give it to you. I these are for Leon. We got some upper deck clear-cut hockey from 1819. Where'd my knife go? Here it is. Good luck, man. Um, no, but I was a little bit late. Uh, my wife got stuck on a phone call, so I was at the house when I should have been here. Bernie Nichols, out of 99. So I could probably hang about 15 minutes later. Oh, you got it? Okay. I could hang probably about 15 late, because I was 15 late. Um... With my wife working from home and us having the four-year-old, if she gets stuck on a call with a lawyer, I'm stuck waiting. Out of 27, UD Canvas, Michael Rasmussen. Oh, it's brutal, Sean. It's brutal. Everything, man. Everything. Basketball, even the cheapest thing, is brutal. Those are two solid cards you got there, dude. Clear cuts came through for you today. Yeah, it's... Sean, it's, basketball's ugly, man. It's almost uncollectible. It's almost to the point where you have to do breaks. Buy half of the break and hope you get New Orleans. Uh, honestly... Actually, that's not a bad idea. Buy 50% and just take the coin toss. Uh, it is a box. Um, you've seen it before, but you probably never knew it was Fast Break. That's the green one. This was very popular um, because it's, it's one autograph as opposed to two. Um, it's got basically half of the yield of a um, hobby, except for the hobby guarantees, I think, a few more prisms. Uh, so this was a inexpensive alternative for hobby. Uh, still pulls well. Fast break still pulls pretty well. Oh, uh, goodness. Let me see if we still have any in stock. We might be sold out online. I've had a lot of that happen today. Yeah, it looks like we're sold out online. Man, that's no good. Yeah, unfortunately, we're all sold out. I'm looking at it right now. We're all sold out online. They have to... Uh, we have cases. They have to break down the cases into boxes, which is something I'm not authorized to do. No, it's... Let me see. Hold on. Uh, first case. Uh, 
Yeah, just the cases are left. So they would have to break down those cases into boxes. So, unfortunately, nothing I can do, man. Um, I can tell you the price. I believe it's 1100 Let me double check that. Uh, 1200 Yep, it's a thousand dollars less. God, it's just I'm choking on the words as I'm saying that. That's just insane. Thanks a lot, Ball Ball. Going out and having that amazing uh scrimmage. Ah, Justin, you are here. Uh, can not all of them, but on a good portion of them. All right, Justin. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to stop working at one, but I was late today. So uh, I'll still get yours in. Otherwise, if this was any other day, but a day I was late to work, <laughs> you'd have to wait till tomorrow, friend. Uh, but good news is, I was late today. Don't thank me. Thank the lawyer that kept my wife on the phone arguing about a case that he was just not going to win. Hey, Trav, you'll get a kick out of this. Uh, my wife is a damage adjuster, not a damage adjuster, a, uh, a claims adjuster. She does uh, PD and injury for GEICO. So, the, uh, the gentleman who, uh, let's say my wife's company driver was at fault. And this is, I'm telling you, this is crazy, this is great. Um, we take responsibility. We, I'll just say Geico as we. And the, the property damage, uh, we said, we'll give you the full five because they hit two cars. We split the 10, give you the five. And then, uh, for your whiplash, I think it was like uh, three grand. Um... The driver says, okay, I'll take it. Cashes the check. And then two days after he cashes the check, Geico gets a um, a letter of representation. And the guy comes in and says, oh no, we want more than that. He already cashed the check, buddy. It's over. He accepted it. He signed it. And he cashed it. You, <laughs> you're not getting any more. That's it. Between the two cars, we settled the maximum. So, two days too late. Two days too late. All right, Trav, you're up first, man. And uh, then uh, we'll knock yours out, Justin. Oh, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Yeah, I um, I was an underwriter, and I, I didn't deal with people directly. I dealt with the aftermath, because I was the one who would reassess the policy after the accident. And sometimes they'd be like, well, you only paid me out this much. That's all you asked for. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. Hi, right, this is for Trav. 1920 UD buybacks.
So, yeah, I could hear my wife in the other room having this conversation with this lawyer. And she's repeating herself, which means the lawyer is repeating himself. Because she already gave the answer. And he keeps asking the same question. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be late for work. You, he, he needs to wrap this up. Out of 15, Jonathan Quick, UD Game Jersey. <laughs> the Kings, man. The Kings. All right, let's get a, a, a Gretzky uh, King out of this one. Wow, hey, look, Gretzky. <laughs> but he's an oiler. <laughs> uh, I was half right. <laughs> I was half right. Uh, it's going to be out of 10, Brad Marchand, UD Canvas. All right, man. There it is. You're very welcome. So, yeah, it's like, man, you listen. You're angry because he cashed the check without consulting you. And you're taking it out on the adjuster who literally did her job. Exactly the way she's supposed to. He's like, that's an illegal settlement. She goes, no, it's not. He, he, hit two, he hit two cars. We're offering you half. He said, I'll take it and cash the check. That's legal. That's exactly, that's exactly what happened. And uh, he's like, well, I had representation on him. They're like, sorry, you didn't get the letter out. You means nothing to us. Yeah, man, underwriting was one of the most interesting jobs I've ever had. Uh, just from a, a, an ability to understand people and basically like go, get on the phone and go, I know exactly what this person's going to say. I know exactly what their argument is going to be. I already have the answer to the argument that they're going to have with me. And then call and have it play out exactly like it was in your head. You're like, yeah, I knew everything you were going to say. It is, it's, people can be very predictable. Justin, Ugh, are you still awake? All right, here it is. This is for Justin. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Pop Culture Series 1, 37 out of 50. the Mad Hatter. Pens from Batman versus Superman. Transformers Micro Changers. Armored Batman. Batman Series 1. It's a 75th anniversary limited edition Dorbs. And last but not least, from Voltron, it's Allura. There you go.
go. Voltron was my all-time favorite. The original one was my all-time favorite uh, show and toy. Best die-cast metal toy ever. That toy literally did what it did in the cartoon. Hi, Trap. Take care, buddy. Thank you so much. You enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, hey, Sean, are you still hanging out? I like Thundercats, too. I went back and watched Thundercats in as, as an adult and realized how bad it was. Terrible writing. I don't recommend watching the original. The voice acting is god-awful, too. Who's this McDavid guy, and why does he keep scoring? You know, you think with how many goals he's got, he'd get tired of doing them? All right, Sean, are you still there? <laughs> Scores one for everyone I pulled. <laughs> there you go. I'll take it. Hey, how'd the Sabres do? Oh, yeah, that's right. They're not playing. All right, everybody, I'm going to get out of here then. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me. And please, take care. I love each and every one of you. And I want to see you tomorrow. See ya. And uh, thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I appreciate them.